Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects. So today I'm going to show you how to do a wireframe like a scan technique. So let's jump in. So I've got this. It's a really strange camera move, but just to show that it's possible, even with this sort of movements. So you need your standard render, the one ready for the scan lines. So you've got that done. Let's show you how to do the lines. So You could use a wireframe render through Octane and just do a wire pass, but it kind of looks strange because it changes it into triangles. So what we'll do is we'll use Cinema 4D. So what you need to do is you need to get rid of everything apart from the model that you want so that it won't put, create lines everywhere else. Let's get rid of these planes. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to delete all the Octane textures. And then we need to just go to our render settings. We'll go to standard, right click, and we want to create cell. So what we need to do here is we need to swap these round. So the edge color is white and the background is black. And then we'll render to see what it looks like. Okay, so that might not be enough detail for you, so we can then tick edges and see what that looks like. That looks better. So we've picked where we want to save it. It's doing the 51 frames, and then you just let that render out. So there we have just that. So we've finished in Cinema now. So now we've got After Effects open, we just need to import the two files that we've just rendered. Create a new comp. So we've got that nice, lovely looking render. And then we just need to overlay this. So option one would be just to screen mode that then, and it's on top. But if you want it to look like it's scanning, a little really easy trick is just create a mask. Hit M on the keyboard for the mask path. By then we want it to have done its first sweep. want it to start back over there and we can do our second sweep maybe we can get one more in so it's set them keyframes now and just because that looks a bit naff, what you can do is you can hit F on the keyboard and feather that off. The keyframes, if you don't know how to set them, you just click this toggle keyframe button and then you can double click this mask to move it all for me to create these frames. So then you've got something that looks like that. but then you can actually push it further. So similar to the same, similar to lightsabers, you can duplicate, pre-compose, and we'll call this glow scan. So we now need to create a white black solid. So we can go to a layer, new solid, or control Y, drop down at the bottom. That black solid is important, but you'll find out why in a bit. And then we'll just use a Gaussian blur on layer two. 
we'll make that about five. And then we'll use another Gaussian blur on layer three and make that about 12. So that gives it that glow effect. You can change the values as well if you want to make it more or less glowy. Um, so now we've got this, but now we need to use screen to blend it again. So now if we want to make that a different color, we can because we've used this uh, black solid, we can just use color balance. And we'll make it red, so we'll just start pulling some of the reds. So now we can see how our dog gets scanned. So hopefully you found this pretty cool. I love this one and hopefully you do some pretty cool things with it. So thank you for listening and I will catch you on the next one.